Hi, this is Rick Spiker, Winfield United CDSM, standing in a field in Greenleaf, Idaho. I wanted to talk to you today on August the 31st about managing your late season water. It's very critical with these new hybrids that have such high yield potential, 300 to 400 bushels on a regular 100 day hybrid these days, that you manage your water correctly. Uh, studies have shown that for every day during this period of time during grain fill, when a, a hybrid is short water, it can lose two to four bushels for every day that it is short on water. If you're cutting your water off a week early, the math is pretty simple. That's 15 or 14 to 28 bushels just in missing that last set of irrigation. So what can you do to prevent that and to get the most out of this great investment that you've made? Um, it's to, to look at, first of all, I'd say look at the husks. When the husks start to transition from green to brown, now you're getting into a quarter milk line or a third milk line. I've got two ears that I pulled that the husks are not only browner, but they're also opening up. This opening up is a tendency to show advanced maturity. So let's take a look at these ears and see exactly where the milk line is. You can see this is a 95 day corn hybrid. There's a lot of yield potential on these ears. And not only is it a lot of row count, but there's a lot of uh, kernel depth as well. Right now, we're only at a quarter milk line. And so even though you've got an open husk, you still have a good 10 days of to two weeks of, of filling that needs to be done. So this corn, even though it's, it's turning needs more water. And this ear here, is really not any more advanced. So you have to wait well into um, dry husks. I would water my corn when I see dry husks. I would make sure I'm watering. Check your milk line, water it, until the milk line gets about to the chaff, about two thirds down the kernel. And then um, that kernel is gonna have enough moisture to finish and get you the most um, weight that you can uh, for that particular field. Rick Spiker uh, saying, keep watering boys.